Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm so sorry about the noise. I've got the drone in the chapel. What's surprising about this chapel is it's so big that you can actually fly a drone inside of it. And I mean, look at this. How magnificent is that? <laughs> Happy day. So we've got Rick, Sean and Duncan in today. There's lots of work happening. So let's crack on. Nice and cozy, Sean. It's lovely in here, yeah. So we're currently in the toilet in the office and today Sean's gonna lay the flooring in this room. So we need to remove the toilet first. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, Ryan hasn't been in here this morning because we wouldn't better work in here no. whatsoever. I can prepare the All right. <laughs> yeah, freshener. <laughs> And the mask. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we don't need it. So we're going to try and turn the valve off on the toilet with mains water. Yeah. So we can flush it and then remove it. Okay. There. There. What's that smell? There okay. Something lurking around the rim. So I've got to turn this valve, but I can't do it by hand. Oh, there we go. It does turn. Wow. So if we turn this, it should turn off the mains water to the toilet. There we go. I think I've done it. Yeah. I've turned the water off. I've done it. And then we flush the toilet. Sean's just gone to get a bag to put the toilet brush in because it's the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. And we've run out of toilet paper. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Are you okay, Ryan? Look at that, Ryan, look. <laughs> get on sight. So I've sat on it and Sean's <laughs> carrying it. It's not, just, he's a lot lighter let's than he put it, Let's put it out there so we yeah. don't have to look at it. Because it's not very nice to look at, is it? There we go. Done. Now, if that ain't a shoot for a calendar, I don't know what is. Billy on the toilet. <laughs> see that real on camera but there is in fact a pipe through the wall behind the soil pipe there so we're going to use that as a route to get a new supply cable from this box to the uh, the mains so it's going to have its own meter in there we're in a conduit it's protected isn't it there we go I need to go around the other side and give that a pull then I'm not sure there's a like, slack on there so I haven't touched it yet, right? It's already there, mate. So we should be. Okay, there we go. A bit of jiggling, I might have to get my arm in there. There we go. Just need a couple of minutes. We can pop out there and in the bottom, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? Like that, but in the box then. Well, I think worst case, we'd come out the side there and just fix it up the corner, wouldn't we? Worst case. Yeah. It's not going to be terrible, is it? In a cupboard? Perfect. Lovely. It's perfect, don't you? Lovely. That's it, mate. Get on with it. So Rick, hi. Happy to be back at work today. I am. I've had um, a few days off yep. and um, pottering about at my place, and we're back here now at the convent, having uh, a bit of a tidy up this morning. We were very happy to see you this morning. We're back to our normal routine, familiar faces. Um, so what are you doing this morning, mate? We're just having a bit of a tidy up in here. It's mm -hmm. our uh, tool room. Tool room, yep. Um, and I guess we've uh, let it over get a bit messy, so we're just having a thought out and yeah. uh, so we know what, what we've got really. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much, mate. No problem, I'll crack on. Crack on. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm actually laying the floor in the toilet. I've just cut the template with an off-cut around the tricky section and uh, hopefully once I've cut this, it will go straight in. We'll have to see that. Oh, 
Let's go and see. Have you got faith in me? Have you seen me work before? <laughs> Bingo! So this afternoon we're just giving this uh, door a little bit of a scrape and a sand down. Um, cold weather's coming so we're just trying to preserve the door now to uh, make sure it lasts for a few more years. So I'm giving it a little sand over with my Ryobi and then we'll get the white paint out and give it a good glossing over and see what it looks like. What are you doing Duncan? Oh, I'm just measuring the, uh, the size of your room um, so I can divide it up to put spotlights in mate. So I'm gonna... We're having six spots. I don't know whether you're aware of this yet. Or not. I am. <laughs> <You're on now. laughs> so yeah, obviously I measure it on the floor because it's easier to measure it on the ceiling, isn't it? So presumably the floor is similar to the ceiling by before normally, isn't it? So uh, uh, yeah, so um, both directions. Draw a little plan. Six spots. Cut six holes, mate. Ryan and I have reflected very hard and thought about every detail of what I'm about to say, but I'm happy to announce that we will be selling the Chateau Prince from today. The website is thepethrix.com and you will find five prints on there. We print everything here at the convent in the office. We use the highest quality photo paper available to us, which is the Canon Pro Premium Matte. And obviously the ink in this printer isn't cheap either, but I find it the best way to get the highest quality to provide to you. <laughs> so um, when we scan these originals in the book, we take great care to make sure it's perfectly scanned and it's really high quality. So yeah. It's not going to be easy and this is going to be very slow going for us. So every time there's an order, we're going to have to print it, sit here and wait for it to print, um, put it in an envelope, put your address and send it to you. This isn't a quick process. <laughs> there we go, look at that. So this is the size we're doing, it's A3. It's 29 centimetres by 42 centimetres. This is a really good format. It's not too big and it's not too small. It's very easily framed. It's a limited series. When they're gone, they're gone because we don't know if, you know, how it's gonna work or if we're gonna have time really with all the renovations. So we're only doing it for December. Every sale from the website will go towards the renovations of the convent, so it's a really good cause. These are the envelopes that they're gonna be shipped in. They're cardboard, they're incredibly thick, and we're gonna put a do not bend label on them. Um, so yeah, they'll be protected in transport. So there we go. That's the first one ready to go. So don't forget to check out thepethrix.com and you will find all of the prints available. Link in description. Link in description, yeah. <laughs> Here is the original folio where we have got all the prints from. I've got some latex gloves on quickly just to protect the pages. So I'm gonna show you quickly where the prints come from. So here we go. 
So there we go. Chateau de la Vallée de la Loire. Okay, let's go to the section where we have all the prints. So there's 93 prints in this volume in total. That's two volumes throughout the book. You can see all these magnificent chateaus. They're so beautiful. Look at this one, for instance, Saligny. That is gorgeous, isn't it? So this book was printed in 1861 and the artist, Victor Petit, he was born in 1817 and he died in 1871 and he ventured across the whole of France and he sat and drew basically every chateau in France, almost. Um, and he did a lot of architectural design and things like that. His um, original drawings were used to create so many buildings in France because ideally he was an architect. So he drew up plans of like an ideal French houses. There are many volumes of his work. They're in museums across the whole world and he's a very celebrated artist. This is Chateau de Chaumont. Um, this is a very, very famous chateau in France. I believe it was up for sale recently, but it needs a lot of work. Um, there are so many beautiful chateaus in this book. Unfortunately, we don't have the time to scan every single one of them. Maybe in the future we can include more, but at the moment it's a limited series. Wow, look at this chateau. It's amazing. How do you pronounce that, Ryan? Courtenvaux. Courtenvaux. Okay, Chateau de Courtenvaux. Oh, it's amazing. I love this book. It was such a good find. So I found this book in an antique shop in a Bracom and a gentleman had picked it up and he was reading through it and he looked really, really pleased with what he's found. But he put it down after seeing the price and walked away. So I went over there quickly thinking, oh, that looked interesting. What was he smiling about? So I picked it up. I started going through it. Then I could realize how many chateaus are in this book. Original you know, like lithographs, they're called. Um, and I was just like, I've got to have this book. And it was between 400 and 500 euros. I can't rem remember exactly. So I just picked it up and I bought it. But as I picked it up, I noticed the, the person who had it before me was looking really, really angry. He was scowling at me with his eyes. This is Chateau de Chenonceau. Look at this. So that's the front elevation. And then here, the next page, we have it again. Chenonceau. Valence. Look at that. That is a huge chateau. If you look at the next one, look at that. <laughs> it's a palace. It's amazing, isn't it? So these these prints are just they're amazing. They're a piece of history of France. So it's nice to be able to share them with the world because unless you find the original um, prints yourself, um, they're impossible to find. Luckily, I got the book. Duncan has done a fantastic job today. He's done the lights in Ryan's apartment. Are you happy with your new lights, Ryan? Yes. Sean has done a fantastic job with the floor. It's almost finished. There's about five cuts left for tomorrow. Um, Rick's been doing some really good jobs today. He's been organizing the workshop and things like that and just cleaning up everywhere. So I'm really happy with the progress. So thank you everyone for watching today's video and we'll see you all tomorrow.